Hello, my name is Jay Johnson. And I'm Dr. Richard Hansen. This is SAM Phase 2 Easy Day. So as you know, folks, SAM stands for Strength and Mobility, specifically Core Strength, Hip Strength, and Hip Mobility. All right, Core Strength, Easy Day. So if you, you should have watched Phase 1, and what we're doing now is just, just building on what you did in Phase 1. So now you're doing the prone plank for 20 seconds. And what, what, what are, are we doing here in terms of making this athlete a better athlete by, by doing a plank? So she's trying to contract the abdominals for an extended period of time. So you're building on core endurance, but you're also trying to improve some proprioception when you're on an unstable base. So she's up on her elbow and she's on her feet. So she has to control what her hips are doing from moving forward and back. Yeah, and, and, and this is a pretty good example, folks. Um, hips could be a little bit lower, but for a lot of you, that, that'll, that'll be a challenge. So hip strength on the easy day. You've seen a double leg bridge this, this week, or excuse me, not this week, but in SAM phase two, we're doing a single leg bridge. So key here is to keep the hips nice and level together. Don't let one side start to drop down. Nice, slow, and controlled with it. Lower it very slow because then you'll build on some of that eccentric strength that the hip stabilizers that we were talking about in some of the earlier videos. And, and, and folks, note her pace. I mean, just like Dr. Hansen said, it's a very deliberate pace. It's not going fast, and it's, it's going easy on, on the way down. No, and if anything, it's a one second up, two to three seconds down. Great. So a lot of you have seen clams. We've got a reverse clams and a reverse air clams. What, what are we working here? We're working the different internal and external rotators of the hip. We're working the capsule here when she lifts the knee, plus activating some of the lateral hip stabilizers. And, and same thing going on here with the lateral leg raise. Yeah, and I, I, again, the key with the different rotary movements is getting external versus internal motion, plus you're getting some adductor and some of the TFL and IT band activity when you go in internal rotation or external rotation. Folks, one, one thing I, I want to point out is that when you're doing things like donkey kicks, and we'll show you donkey whips in a second and fire hydrants, you're going to look weird at the health club doing this. And you're going to, you know, if, if you get your yoga mat out at the trailhead or, or you, you know, you're at a track and you're doing these things, people are going to look at, at you weird. But having done this with athletes for a number of years, the chance of staying injury free goes way up when you're doing this type of work. And it Bottom line is it just feels good for the, the structure at the end or at the beginning of a workout because you are creating dynamic movement at that hip to just open up the joint before or after you've just worked it pretty significantly. Folks, on the lower body crawl, you don't need to bring the knee past the hip, which is a lot, a lot of you will have the flexibility to do so. You can just bring the knee up to the, the hip level like you're seeing here. And this exercise you haven't seen before, Iron Cross. She does a great job of keeping her shoulders mostly on the ground and keeping her upper body nice and quiet, having all the movement come at the hips. And just like gravity take you over, you don't need to force the motion. Folks, this one you might feel in your low back. If you do have some pain in your low back, don't do the Australian crawl. But what a great way to start strengthening the posterior chain. And the spine stays relatively neutral doing that. Um, this exercise with the, the iron cross, it's, it's about the same. You're just getting the rotation at that pelvis. You're not trying to torque the lower back by swinging across the body. Okay, folks, you haven't seen this one before. Uh, for most of you groiners, um, one, once you do this, it'll, it'll feel right in terms of a uh, 45 degree angle at the knees. And, uh, yeah, we're going to end with cat cows. All right. Well, thanks, folks. You'll, you'll want to tune in for SAM Phase 2 Hard, and this is something that you will have built up to after several weeks.